So let's say we're going to read The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Maybe you're just interested in reading it. Maybe you need to read it for school. But let's see if we can get a hold of it for you. So first we need to read it. So I'm going to come over to Books and More, Books and Magazines, and I'm going to check out the e-library because I don't have time to go into the library. So let's start with Overdrive, or Libby if you're using the app on a device. And I'm going to do a search. And yep, Overdrive has it, but I need to place a hold on it. And that's not going to work for me. I need to read it right away. So let's go back and let's try Hoopla. Hoopla doesn't always have as large of a selection, but it does have stuff that's available right away. So I'm going to come down. Now if I were going to log in, I'd do that first. But for today, I'm just going to come down here and browse. And let's see. So they have the soundtrack to the movie, but they also have the book. So that's great. I can check that out and start reading right now. So, all right, I've checked out the book. I've read it. It was great. Now I need to know more. I need to know some background to it. I need some studies. I need some papers that I can look at and just learn some more. So from the Herrick website, I'm going to go to Research and Learn eResearch. And that's going to bring us to a page showing all the different databases that I have access to with my library card. I'm going to go to Subject and narrow it down to Arts and Literature, because I'm talking about a book, which is literature. And there's a whole bunch of different options. So let's try Bloom's Literary Reference Online. So Bloom's Literary Reference also publishes books, but they also have this online database. So let's go ahead and again search for the book and see what they've got. So here we go. We've got all sorts of information, 327 different articles on how to write about it, summaries of it, critiques of it, different subjects and topics you could write about, all sorts of different information that you can access to help you write a paper or just learn more about the background of the book. If it was really inspiring to you, you can learn here more about what's behind it, about dig into different characters, different meanings in the book, all of that kind of stuff. So that's Bloom's Literary Reference. That's a good one to start with. Let's go back and see some of these other ones. Um, how about Literature Resource Center? So this is another database you have access to. Right now it's showing us all of them. I want to go into the Literature Databases. And I want to go into this Literature Resource Center. I'm again going to search for the book. And here we go. There's 822 results in this database. And again, it's different articles. Um, this one's an article from a journal. This one is from an interview. This one looks like it's from a book, an essay in a book. So again, there's all kinds of different information for you to read up on and cite and get information from, get ideas from, all kinds of great options in here. Overviews, all of that kind of stuff. We can go back here, and there was another option. Um, I'm going to go all the way back to Herrick's website, though. And let's see what's on this second page of Arts and Literature resources. Here we have one called Something About the Author. So this time we can research the author because how somebody grew up and what their situation was can definitely impact what their writing was like. And so they do have articles on Alice Walker. And so this is actually just a scan of a book. So there's a couple pages here talking about what her inspirations were, when she was born, where she lived, what she wrote. We've got a picture of her. And this one is great because you can clearly see it's a scan of a book. So technically, this is a print resource. You're accessing it online, but it is a print resource. So if your teacher cares about the distinctions, you can say this one is a print resource. So again, there's all kinds of great ways you can access information to help you do homework or just dig into a little bit more of your favorite books. We'll see you next time.